Hi friends, in this video I am trying function with argument and no return value. Here I will declare two global variables of integer type. One is price and another one is tax. In the next line I will create function which has arguments but no return value. Wide set values of Inside this bracket, I will pass new price value and new tax value. Inside this function, I will reinitialize this price value to the new price and tax value to the new tax. Inside this main of functions, I will call this set values of function. And in this set values, I will set the parameter, the new price to the 100 and new tax value to 20. And before calling this set values of function, I will initialize price value to 10 and tax value to 2. Before calling this set values of function, I will display the price and tax value using printf of statement. After calling the set values of functions, I will display the price and tax value using printf of statement. setting few breakpoints in source. Now I am going to this debug section. Now I am running debugging. Our execution gets stops at line 10. After executing this line 10, see the output in uh, console. The value before set values, price is 10 and tax is 2. Now I am going into this set values of functions. You can see it in a call stack. And now the new price is 100 and new tax is 20. Before executing this uh, line 5, uh, I will check this uh, price value, global variable price value, which is 10, and uh, tax value, which is 2. Now after executing this line 5, The value of the price becomes 100 and after executing line 6, tax value becomes 20. Now I am printing this uh, the new value in uh, console. Here you can see the after set values price becomes 100, tax is 20. Function with argument and no return value is completed. In the next tutorial, I am going to the function with argument and return value. Don't forget to subscribe this channel. Thank you.